Hey guys! I should probably not have started my talking here, but we're going to be playing Persona 4 Dancing All Night. Oh god, and there's an update. Wait, I just installed the things. that uh, This must just have came just now? Right? Oh god, don't tell me I've got to have to stop this playthrough. Should I just... Yeah, I'll have that download in the background and then just continue with it? Or is that going to break things? I don't know. No, I don't want to connect to the internet. No, let's just start this game. There we go. So yeah, actually, I've done the thing so I can install the update now. <laughs> I think it just installed like seven costumes. Oh god, so much has been going on right now. Um, a recent tragedy happened. I don't know if I should actually go in detail because it's so horrible. Uh, well, that was a bit of an awkward way to start a, a playthrough. Let's play. It's not really a walkthrough, because I'm terrible at this. Oh yeah, just to warn you, this is going to be really bad. Actually, I haven't checked the sound settings. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so these are all the costumes I downloaded. Yeah, I got general... Yeah, that was a free one. Midwinter. DLC, Nevermore. Shadow World, okay. Okay, so I got three DLC things. Two of them were free, and one was because I got the... Super Disco, you're gonna jump around a lot edition. So I don't think I've actually even seen this intro. Even though I've listened to this, they released um, this song on their official YouTube channel before this game got released. I know they released this music video on the channel as well, but I never saw it because I wanted to see, there's so much rotoscoping. That has to be rotoscoping, right? Though I feel like rotoscoping is a really bad way to describe animation because there's two different versions of rotoscoping, but <laughs> I feel like I need my own video just to start explaining that. Well, I, I guess I guess a better way would have been video techniques, but we're... I'm actually so su surprised that the. Um... Animation is looks so good. I'm so used to the Persona stuff to look so mediocre that when it look when it looks so good like this, I'm like, what? What? There is one thing I really thought didn't. Oh, yeah, that's the. Is she the idol? Kana Kaname. The um, Rise rival. Anyway, the one thing I really didn't like about Persona 4 Golden is they added so, um, lots of different added cutscenes and things. And the one they added, I think, was the music festival thing. And I just didn't like how. Persona 4, dancing all night. Oh, you! Um, <laughs> they added that, and it's like they learn how to play instruments in like two seconds, like in a day. I was like, that's not really... Anyway, welcome to P4D. P4D, there are two primary modes, story mode and free dance. Okay. Select the... Pr okay, in the menu. So I got story mode, free dance, shopping. Ooh. You can buy them with items. Okay, collection. If I go do DLC, does it go to the store? Oh, yep. Yes, it does. Yep, I shouldn't do that. So config, let's just see what I can change. Voices on or off. Dance voices. Okay, no voice to the change. I'm probably gonna just—I'm gonna play it in English, but um, it's kind of annoying that they wouldn't have the option because they had it for Persona 4 Arena and Ultimax. Hmm, or maybe it's because of the Vita game, because so because the cards can only go up to like four gigabytes, is it? So I've been playing for three minutes apparently. Loading some seem all right. Let's look at this shopping thing. I know I shouldn't—I should be playing like. The video. Oh, Tanaka! But, like, like Tanaka doesn't sound like that. I know he never actually voiced, he only made grunts and things in the Social Link for Persona 3, but I think. Anyway, uh, I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Uh, okay, so I've got to do stuff before I can like buy like insert costumes. Okay, so I know some of them were DLC because I was in the DLC, but there looks like a lot of things. Oh, okay. 
So I can just have these. So do I... Oh. Oh, oh it's just unlocked already. Okay. Okay. That's alright then. Ch Chie's, she's got a Bruce Lee outfit. I want to see the Bruce Lee outfit. Oh, there it is. It's called tracksuit. Oh, I guess I guess that makes sense. Probably should be called orange tracksuit too. But I don't know why I was so racistly Japanese then. But anyway, let's go play the story mode. Story mode, you can try the story. Yep. This mode will only story. Only okay. Yeah, of course. Beginner or standard? Oh no. Oh, I don't know. I have played a few rhythm games, uh, mostly just the Miku games. I've played some other ones that I can't remember the name, but only for like an hour or two. So I kind of feel like I'm not a beginner, but I don't really feel like I'm standard either. Oh, what a dilemma. Okay, I'm going to play standard and play really badly. Oh, actually, then maybe I should go beginner because, oh, whatever. Anyway, opening. Uh, but yeah. Oh god, yeah, it's going to be the visual novel style, like uh, Arena and Ultimax, I completely forgot. Maybe I should have played that free mode before. But this looks like a animated cutscene? Well then, that concludes this audition. We'll contact you individually with your results after some time. Thank you, sir. Is it the two I think it is? Thanks for everything. Thank you for staying so late. Thank oh, you no. See you. <laughs> oh, this must be a flash? Ooh. This is just making me think of like Love Live and like Idol Master and things like that. Um, excuse me. Um, don't go in the dark room, little girl. It, and you don't want the dark out to start when you get in here either. from the studio hey what what's going on it's really bizarre because i recognize all those voice actors that were screaming it was like yosuke and huh? which one when you look at some website at midnight there's this weird video that plays on its own well that sounds very familiar doesn't it it's hard to really make out much at first but you can totally see this idol who should be dead dancing in it when you watch the video to the end, supposedly you get taken away to the other side, and you never wake up. I really feel like they shouldn't have used Yukari to... Yukari's voice to do that. Okay, so we've got this HUD. There's options. Okay, so who am I playing? Am I playing as the girl that saw the, the hanging person? I'm assuming it was someone... Oh, wait, wait, Margaret? Whoa, this is a very, uh, disco- Whoa, 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 that went real quick. When you awaken, you agreed with an infamous site? Wait, why is it going so fast? Anyway, yep, mysterious room. Voice oh, said similar, unfamiliar. Similarly unfamiliar, that's a really hard thing to say. Oh, welcome to the velvet room. Okay, yep, Margaret's still the same. Don't worry, this is merely a dream. The you in the real world is sound asleep. You know, I'm going to press start because that, that, that is really... The the, the um, text going so fast is really, like, off-putting. Uh, it doesn't look like there's an option for that. I guess because it's so disco, it just goes fast. Having said that, you're no guest of this room. She fixes, yep, she stares at us. Perhaps you've gone astray in your dream and wandered into a realm beyond. So this isn't a like person that has potential or anything this like that. Is the velvet room, a place that exists between or and is this mind. some weird thing where and matter. it's like the player goes into the room, like me? Normally, only those
those who have agreed upon some form of contract. I want to show how abstract this is right now. After saying that, yep, she looks down. But nothing meaningless happens in this room. If you are here, there must be a reason for it. Very well. I'll use this as an opportunity to tell you of a guest we once hosted here. You or someone else? Yep, she strains the face. Yeah. Oh. Yes. I know just whose story to relate. I'm guessing it's going to be you. <laughs> this is the tale of an unforgettable guest who kindled within my heart a flame that... Oh, it's the only one that I can think of. I don't think she's going to be talking about Labrys when she says that line. I knew him. Oh, there we go. Huh? I don't know, is they are they introducing like people are reborn in the Persona universe or something? Probably not. An irreplaceable bond with his friends. The power of their bond supported them through every trial, even when facing an adversary with inhuman powers. They remained undaunted throughout. <laughs> you seem perplexed. I'm not surprised. You could have no notion of what I'm speaking of, after all. In that case, I will show you a glimpse into the story. So, are we going to get a recap of just Persona 4 or, like, the arena games as well? Yep, she looks... Yeah, go on. Oh, that's not very good for my eyes, lady. To be clear, this is not the story oh. the they faced. Hmm. One might think of it as a festival that they performed in. Okay, so this is this is this after Persona 4 Dancing All Night, and we're gonna go back to to that story. That's very confusing. I I doubt it's a lead into Persona 5, because that would just be confusing.